Today I think it's the hottest it's ever been in England. So I thought instead of going fishing, I'd jump in the pond, cool off, and make a video about my dream koi pond project. In January, I began my most ambitious project yet. The aim being to build a huge fish pond in my relatively small garden. Progress was tricky at times, especially with poor weather. But in today's video, I'll finally be stocking the pond with some large and beautiful koi. Around two months ago, I introduced the first fish to the pond. This was quite a nerve wracking time because I was just getting used to how the system worked, understanding the water quality and the parameters. But thankfully, everything went smoothly. I was so happy to see Charlie enjoying the new pond because previous to this, I, I'd kept her in a smaller, shallower pond with perhaps not good enough filtration. And I admit, I underestimated uh, the, you know the process and what's involved in koi keeping and now with this proper pond Charlie looked happy and I felt like I was doing koi keeping properly. A couple of weeks passed and I was just planning on collecting my brand new fish the big ones and then I noticed something wasn't quite right. I wasn't keen to introduce new fish whilst Charlie was behaving strangely but what I noticed was that she'd sort of sink to the bottom and then really struggle to get back up to the surface. This is often a swim bladder related issue. And I learned about how carp within them have a small pocket of air. That air is what helps them sort of suspend themselves in the water and float. Charlie had obviously had some sort of swim bladder issue because she was just sinking to the bottom. And it was horrible to watch because she couldn't feed so well. And every time she did come to the surface, she'd just take a, a big gulp of air and then sort of sink back down again. Because I wanted to get a better look, I netted Charlie and put her in a koi bowl. On closer inspection, and after sort of sedating the fish and rolling her over, I realized she was very, very fat. And inside were tens of thousands of eggs. Sometimes carp can get what's known as spawn bound. They aren't able to release the eggs themselves for whatever reason. So some gentle massaging, <laughs> which was quite a surreal experience, I'll be honest, helped her release all of those eggs. Endless eggs upon eggs. Now I have been told that this is quite a risky procedure, something that you probably shouldn't do, but I had a bit of experience of doing it on carp that I had bred in the past and also goldfish and it had worked out before so I managed to get you know managed to help the fish release all the eggs and then once back in the pond she was good as new I couldn't believe the difference this was a fish that was like not even feeding anymore because it just couldn't swim around properly and now with the eggs out of her she was fine Next, I inspected the water quality and found that the Awaza filtration system was doing its job perfectly. And then I thought, now's the time to go and collect all of my new fish. I'm back at Kitsu Koi. This is the dealer that sold me four fish earlier on in the year. Uh, I picked out some really nice specimens and today I've had the chance to actually see these fish for the first time in months. in this first pond is one of the fish that I bought. I'm trying to spot it at the moment, but there's so many fish. It's a little bit of a challenge to see where it is. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's actually a sorogoy, which is a, a light gray, almost steel color. Uh, some people would say it's probably the most boring fish in this entire pond. It's all one color. It doesn't have a pattern and it's not red, black, white or yellow, but I quite like the, the one color fish. They, they're just so minimal and simple and um, yeah, really clean looking. In the other pond down there, I've got another one which is really nice orange color. Um, but yeah, I mean, some people would, would look at this pond and say, oh, the best fish is, is this Sankey, red, white, and black. Other people, um, a Tancho with the red circle on the head. But I think it's one of the good things about koi is that you can take a thousand fish and everyone will have a different favorite. I just really like the single color ones. If I do a bad job, feel free to just tell me to stop. 
Oh, it went under. <laughs> All right. Coming yet? Let's have a look. I think it's probably wise that I let the professional do it. There's too many fish in this pond. <laughs> They're quite different. <laughs> you couldn't have two more contrasting fish in the bowl together. It was, um, it was, it was a tricky decision when I was here purchasing the fish because I couldn't make up my mind which one I like most. They're both very different. And uh, thankfully, <laughs> I went with both of them. Now this is where Chris keeps his big fish. In here are a selection of carp up to almost a metre long. And I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but two of the fish in here are actually mine and will be coming home with us today. The first is the Matsuba, which is a sort of vivid orange colour with a reticulation, like a black reticulation or um, like pine cone pattern going down its back. And then the other fish is the just massive in every way. Uh, it's a Karashigoi. I think it's about 83 centimeters in size. We'll be able to see that for certain once it's in the bowl. These two fish are gonna be coming home with me today and I am so, so excited. Manual labor. <laughs> How many men does it take to build a cardboard box? One intelligent one. <laughs> oh, you just tape it down. I thought you had to do what, you know? All right, we, we can do this. Our trick is, put a little bit of water in, uh, and drop the corners into the bag. The bags were tightly sealed with elastic bands and filled with oxygen to help the fish with their journey. Probably the most precious load I've ever had to drive. Oh yeah. Wait, no, you drive your girlfriend around, don't you? Edit that bit out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the ball patch. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Not a lot to know about it now, is there? <laughs> to me, to you, to me, to you. You're going to carry them down then? Oh, I've got the camera in my hand. Oh, can't help out. No. I think actually these fish are so big and heavy, we're going to use machinery to get them back to the car. Nice and wow, there you go. Now, Cal, drive safely and quickly at the same time. Oh, no. <laughs> Need for speed. Oh, I'll let you go. Thanks, Chris. See you later. See you later. Nice to meet you. Kitsu Koi is the best later. shop ever. <gasps> Quick, copyright. I'm really happy that Cal has offered to drive, but at the same time, I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs, stressing out a little bit. I'll be, I'll be calm once the fish are back home in the pond and looking happy. But until that time comes, I'm definitely a little bit nervous. We left the fish for 30 minutes or so for the water temperature in the bag to equalise with the pond. Like a kid at Christmas, apart from the present is wrapped in clear plastic so I can see what it is. What did you get? What did I get? <laughs> I got a fish, mate. Four of them. 53 centimetres. That was easy. I was waiting for it to go crazy and wriggle loads. If you give them a couple of little spins, they get a bit... Um, dizzy. Yeah, dizzy, and then they're less likely. <laughs> he says. I've, <laughs> I've seen the pros do it. <laughs> right, let's try that again. The smaller fish were in and looking quite content in their new home. 
Next up was the Kin Matsuba. This is probably one of my favorites, excluding Charlie, of course. This fish's color is just so vibrant. Omi says it reminds her of one of those neon orange highlighter pens. Stretches, don't forget your stretches. Eddie Hall, ho. <laughs> I mean, I'm lifting a lot of water. That's not all fish, of course. That's huge. Oh, that's enormous. <laughs> wow, like, I don't, I don't really know what to say. The measurement goes to the, to the top, to the end of the top fin, so it's like 81. Oh, wow. Bye. Enjoy your new home. The pond is now actually a koi pond. And I'm really almost a bit emotional. It, this project started about two years ago when I started planning and saving up some money. And I guess you can say we did it. Hey! <laughs> look at them, they look amazing. They look incredible. That is a sight to behold. I've actually put the netting on because uh, I don't want them jumping out in these first few days of them being in the pond. Now one part of this whole project which I didn't expect to enjoy as much as I have is the gardening. Planting the plants and putting them in place I kind of gave that responsibility to my dad as he is a, a garden designer and quite a qualified one at that. But it didn't quite look right. It all looked a bit sparse and dad obviously told me, be patient Carl, with plants you need patience, you need to water them, you need to look after them, just like the fish. And now, yeah, even just a couple of months later, it's looking really nice. I think in a year or two, the climbers will have covered you know, a decent amount of the fence around the back. The filter house will be disguised nicely by the climbing plants that are gonna cover it and turn it into just a big green wall. And yeah, I was never really bothered about gardening. I certainly didn't see the appeal of it. But these days, sometimes I'll just go out in the morning, feed my fish, and then do a bit of watering, bit of weeding, and kind of secretly enjoying it. it takes my mind off of work and fish for a a short period of time uh, and gives me a little bit of balance which is healthy I suppose. So with everything completed and with the pond done, the fish looking happy, I decided to invite a few friends around and have a party. Now to most people that probably doesn't sound like a particularly unusual thing to do. However, in my life, I had never organized a party. I'd never organized a gathering as such. I'm quite an introverted person and other than making these videos and connecting to the viewers, I don't do a lot of socializing. I kind of quite like having internet friends because when you've had enough, you can just switch them off. Aside from this YouTube channel and aside from the viewers of these videos, I do have a few friends and I decided to invite them round to celebrate the pond being finished. To the fish. We had a very pleasant evening out in the garden and I was happy because my brother came round to help out with cooking pizzas. We're gonna have lots of them. Ah! Got a bit thin. That's good. That looks great. A few days before, I'd actually made the dough myself. I've always just bought pizzas from the shop and just chucked them in the oven, but I thought I'd do it properly. I was making the effort to get friends to come round. I was going to make dough for my homemade pizzas. Reading. Making the biggest mess ever. <laughs> this is supposed to be a pizza base. <laughs> I can't, it looks like my nightmares. <laughs> Turns out it's actually quite difficult. Well, I'm pretty sure I got the ingredients wrong because I didn't have scales. So what I ended up with was 
a big stretchy, stringy, sticky mess. Thankfully, the pizza dough worked out okay in the end, but to be honest, my friends were definitely more interested in the fish than the food on offer. One thing we realized when my friends were around is that I hadn't actually given names to all my fish. This one's got a name. This is Charlie. That's the fish that I've had for longest, but all of these new ones, they didn't yet have names. My friend Tom said he wanted me to name one of them after him, so it made sense, given the fact that he's ginger, that I named the big orange one after him. So that's Peeping Tom, because it's kind of got funny eyes, and every now and then when I come out into the garden, it just floats up in front of the glass and stares at you. It's kind of creepy, actually. But yeah, if you've got any good fish names for my other ones, then feel free to put them in the comments and I will read all of them when I get a moment. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys back on the channel soon.